It is said to fall in love with God is the greatest romance and to seek him the greatest adventure. What you are about to see is one such fascinating account. The backdrop is that of a little boy attending Balvika's classes. Bhagwan Baba began the Balvika's movement in 1960s to light the lamp of love in young and pure minds. This story takes us to the home of Miss Geeta in Bangalore. The students of her class had a very special blessing. Swami would visit our home sometimes and on such occasions he would lovingly interact with the children. This is a story of innocent pining, unexpected disappointments and divine love that made it all sweetly indelible. One day the neighbor's maid asked if she could bring her son Chinivasa for the classes. Geeta and her mother welcomed the boy with love. Initially it was the prasadam that attracted Chinivasa. But soon he became an ideal student, learning everything, bhajans, stories and shlokas faster than others. In every class he would point at Baba's portrait and ask, "Amma, when do we see the god in the photo and geeta would tell him that one of these days he will come and he should not miss the class that day at last one saturday the god in the photo was going to come for dinner geeta told her students to be present on that day she specifically told shrinivasa's mother you must bring shrinivasa for the class this week swami is coming the beautiful day that shrinivasa had been dreaming of finally arrived but his joy turned to sorrow because his mother told him shrinivasa you cannot step out of this hut today i have to go for a movie she had planned to go to the theater without telling the lady at whose home she worked shrinivasa tried hard to convince his mother to let him go but she wouldn't listen She even mocked saying, "What god in the photo, dear? There is no god coming." She decided to play safe by locking Shrinivasa in the hut. The sad Shrinivasa kept looking out of the window. As time passed, he only grew increasingly restless. Desperate to see Baba, he finally broke the window and sneaked out. Geeta there was very happy to see the boy at last. But that day Baba's arrival was getting delayed. Now Shrinivasa was nervous as his mother was expected to get back at any time. He kept looking at the clock. When Baba's visit got further delayed, Shrinivasa got up and quietly left. Geeta was so busy that she did not even notice the boy leaving. And just after Shrinivasa left, Baba arrived. And he was pleased to see the children. But there seemed to be something that Baba noticed. He now turned towards Geeta and asked, "Geeta ma, where is Shrinivasa?" Baba was seeing this group of children for the first time. Yet he knew each one of them. and could immediately spot the absence of Shrinivasa. Geeta started looking for Shrinivasa in all the children and realized that the boy indeed was missing. Baba now gave her a stern look and told her that she should be aware of the whereabouts and welfare of all her children every moment. Then Baba narrated the sequence of events that occurred before he reached Geeta's home. When Swami was on his way it so happened that he saw the parents of Shrinivasa returning from the movie Baba stopped the car to have a word with the mother She was taken aback her immediate reaction was Oh my god really isn't he the same god in the photo Baba told her 
You locked Shrinivasa in the hut and came here for a movie. Do you know the hut caught fire? The mother gasped in shock and horror and began to weep. Baba then calmed her down and said, "Don't worry. I gave him the thought to break the window and go for the class before this happened. But he was so scared of you that he left the class without telling anyone and returned home." Swami then directed the mother to go home and bring the boy to the class. As Baba finished narrating this entire episode, the door opened. Shrinivasa for the first time was seeing the god in the photo. He could not believe it. He was right there standing in front of Baba. Swami looked at him with a loving gaze and said, "Shrinivasa, how are you?" It was a revelation not only to the son but to the mother as well. She returned with great reverence for Baba. She repented for her actions and realized how fortunate her son was to be associated with the Balvikas classes and more importantly to be connected with Baba. That bond that Swami established with Shrinivasa became his lifeline as he grew up by his grace to become a successful banker and an active Sai worker. The magic of his love had recreated so many lives so beautifully yet another time.